You know, the Museum of Modern Art was an idea uh, long before it was a place and certainly before it was a collection. And the idea was that New York needed a place where modern art could be seen. And I think by modern, it was understood to be contemporary, the art of the present. This institution, for whatever reason, over the last 30 or 40 years, had become very hidebound in its um, discipline, so that painting and sculpture focused on painting and sculpture, and photography focused on photography, and so on down the line. And yet contemporary artists were blurring boundaries left, right, and center, and weren't worried whether their work was a photograph or a painting. They were making art. And I, th I thought, why not step back and bring curators from all of the departments together and in a sense open up the box and see what would happen. We have really great curators and we have curators that have wonderful, um, I think, points of view and that we, we can't lose however we'll do it because we have, along with the great curators, we have the greatest collection of modern art in the world. We really feel it's essential that this institution stay engaged with contemporary creativity. And in order to do that, you have to build a special set of spaces because artists are producing work of a very challenging scale and that work that poses a very challenging set of requirements in terms of uh, technology, media outlets within the galleries, abilities to produce dark spaces for video projection. There are any number of new contingencies that we're trying to take into account in the design of the new building. 